The choice of the most appropriate means of securing a load to a vehicle will depend on the type and composition of the load to be carried and the vehicle itself. Vehicle operators should equip the vehicle with appropriate load securing equipment for the types of load usually carried. If mixed loads are carried, a number of types of securing equipment should be available. Webbing straps are the most commonly used load securing equipment. Webbing straps are easy to use and versatile, so many kinds of loads can be secured by them. Webbing straps are made from fibre, so they can be easily damaged. Also they stretch under strain, so they need to be checked and re-tightened during transport. Webbing straps are required to be made according to standard EN12195-2, except webbings that are used only once. This standard EN12195-2 lays down the requirements for webbing straps. The manufacturer must attach a specific label outlining these properties to the webbing strap before sale. Chains are typically used when transporting heavy loads like plant and machinery. Under a normal load, the chain lashing does not stretch as much as the webbing strap. Also, the chain is unlikely to get damaged when securing loads with sharp edges. Strong packing or edge protectors should be used on corners or sharp edges to prevent damage to the chains and to increase the radius around which they bend, increasing their effective strength. Effective blocking can be achieved by stowing items or individual load units against the headboard and sidewalls or putting fixtures between the individual load units or building different kinds of structures or fixtures against the loads. Dunnage or packing can be put between the individual loads to assist blocking. Wedges made of plastic or wood can be used to block cylindrical type loads which may roll. The use of friction matting can be useful. The force of friction on a load will prevent the load from moving from the load deck. However, friction is never enough to secure a load that is moving. Friction can be increased with anti-slip matting. This material can be used under load items and the load bed and between individual load items. Increased friction reduces the number of lashings needed to secure the load. Soft packages can be protected with a corner or edge protection device, which is used in top over lashing arrangements. A suitable protection device can enable several load items to be combined together, to lessen the amount of webbing straps needed. Integrated lashing systems incorporating a load cover are available, which enable soft or granular load items to be restrained together. Netting systems have also been developed to secure multiple load units. All equipment used for load securing should be regularly inspected for wear and damage. Webbing straps have a set working life. This can be shortened if they are used daily to secure heavy loads or otherwise misused. Before using a webbing strap, check its condition. Do not use a webbing strap if you notice fraying of the strands, cuts and abrasions, damage by contamination by chemicals, oils, abrasives, dusts and greases or if any part has got a permanent deformation, such as a bent link on a chain or a bent part on the tensioner for a web lashing. You should always follow the manufacturer's recommendations regarding the correct use, inspection and discard criteria for webbing straps. Do not use a chain if you notice cracks in the surface, any visual deformation and wear that's more than 10% of the diameter. Again, the main principle to remember is that the load restraint equipment needs to be carefully chosen to suit the load and vehicle, used correctly and kept in good serviceable condition at all times. In the next video, we'll look at driver considerations. You can get further information on this topic at www.loadsafe.ie.